Hi everyone, have you all got your packs ready? Because we're going to have a go at making our very own Halloween lantern. And there we are. That's the one I made earlier. So you should have three skulls, a tube, a base with tape on. All you've got to do is take the tape off, but I'm going to show you. And a top or cup, which the lantern goes into. So at the bottom of the lantern, you'll see that there's a little switch there. It's really safe. And that switch switches on and off and that goes in top of the lantern, like that. It's not hot, see? So the first thing you need is your base, okay? So we're gonna tape off, we're gonna take off this tape, like that. And try not to touch that, cause it's sticky. It won't hurt your hands or anything, but it's sticky. The more you touch it, the less sticky it is. So leave it sticky. Then the next thing we're gonna do is get hold of the tube, and put the tube on, yeah, and squeeze it together and try and get that straight, like that. If it's a little bit wonky, that's fine, because it's a Halloween lantern, wonky's fine. So don't worry about that. If it can't get it straight, that might be better. Who knows? So next thing you're, you're gonna do is get hold of the skull. See, they've got two holes in, a hole in the bottom and a hole in the top. So I can see through that. So what you're going to do now is just push the skull onto the lantern. Make sure you pull it really tight and then push it on, push it down. See, and that pushes onto there really tight. So you put it onto the table. Next thing you're going to do is get your next skull. So you choose your skull. Mm. I think I'll choose, I'll choose that one. Then you're going to get hold of the tube. You see the tube? I don't know if you've noticed that, but it's really tricky getting the first one on. Then the tube gets smaller on the end. So you know, that goes on dead easy now. Then you can turn the head, even when it's finished, you can turn the head to any direction you like or any way you, you like. So I'm going to put mine there, I think. I'll change it. So one skull's looking that way, and one skull's looking that way. More spooky, I think. The next one, mm, the next one, see it's got a hole again. All your skulls have got holes in, I'm sure you've noticed that. And the next one, I'm gonna put on, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hide all that white. I'm gonna go down there, you see? So now, now there's loads of white there, so I'm gonna go down and Turn, turn that around so there's not loads of white. So I think that's good. So the next thing, what do you think it is? Have a guess. That's right. That. So you've got to take the sticky off. If you cannot manage it, don't squeeze the top there. If it gets someone older, to try and get that tape off for you. See, it's dead easy. You untape it, then you throw that away, then you're going to put that, so it's sticky, remember, don't, don't touch the sticky, then you're going to put that in there, it'll take a little bit of a twist, but don't squeeze the top, that's really important, because you might break it, and you're going to go in, and just work that into the, into the skull part. If you're having a little bit of trouble, get someone who's a bit older, who might be able to give you a hand. So if you do crack it, that's okay, it's fine. So we're gonna add paint next. So the first thing we're gonna do is the skulls. So if you pick up your brush, I'll put my paint on little plastic things like that. These are only, these are plastic little lids. Little, little, little parcels of food. That's all I've done, but you can use a plate that's been, that's been covered 
in cling film. And also, I've covered the table with a little bit of plastic, with a little bit of plastic sheathing, so I don't get paint on the table. But again, you can use cling film or an old cloth and make sure you put an old piece of cloth or wear old clothes so you can paint it, so we get paint on your clothes. Because this is acrylic, so you can't put it in your mouth or anything like that because it'll taste horrible. So you put an old towel or some old clothes on and then you won't be afraid of getting paint anyway. You're going to get some bits on your hands, but it's okay. That should wash off. But so we get started. So the skulls first, wasn't it? So we'll paint the skulls first. So all you're going to do is have a little bit of water in a plastic tub or, a, or an old glass jar, whatever's in the kitchen. A little bit of water in your little pot. So it's the silver. Then just holding that. It's really strong, you see. Holding that, just go over the skulls. Don't put on really thick, because you know the best way to paint anything, if you're doing a picture or anything, the best way to do it is to add the paint on in thin layers. Right? So the next time you do a picture, you do it exactly the same way as I'm showing you how to do this. You put your paint on thin layers, and it always looks better. So don't put on thick. So you've got to let those black marks show through, you see? That's why you put on thin, and it always looks better. And it makes the skulls look shiny. It looks a bit more Halloween-y. So paint the plastic tube as well. It's okay. This paint is meant to go on plastic. It's meant to go on paper or card or canvas or, or anything like that. So it's great for this. You see, I'm just doing it really fast. And sometimes I'm not even looking as I'm doing it. All I've got to do is look at the paint because I, I hit somewhere else. You see, I'm not even looking at this. I'm doing it really fast. Right. Faster the better. But I'm holding it still though. So I think that might be it. So we've got to let that dry. Okay, everyone. So if I let that dry, make sure it's all covered. Okay, right, so we'll let that dry them. So it's really strong. Right, don't forget to wash your brush out. So a, a, a little bit of water on your brush, and you get the black. I know I've got my paint on there, but it's exactly the same amount as you've got. A little bit of water in there, but not too much because it'd be too runny. And then pick up your skulls or your lantern, then we're going to go on the inside and just do that. A tiny bit of water on the black and just go around and around. So I'm just going around there, around and around and around. So you can sit and blow that, or you can just leave it. Go right up to the top, I'm getting right in, right up to the top. Make sure it's right in there. So, so we'll put that down. And I think we'll, actually, I think, like I've done on there, I think I'll put some black in the skulls. And I'm gonna put a little bit of black, but don't make them all black. It doesn't look that good. So take the paint off your brush. So I'm just putting the paint on this piece of plastic or on the cling film or over the plate, just take all the paint off and just leave a little bit of paint on. And just a little bit of taps. See, I'm just going over really fast, going over the teeth, so you can see the teeth more. Like that. So, now that these are dry, so if you just lightly touch them, you'll be able to see that they're not sticky, they're quite dry and cool. And the bottom's still a bit wet, but that's okay because you're not touching that. So, we're gonna do some red now. So some water in the red paint, but not lots of water. Just a little bit of water. 
So when I put the water in, it doesn't run. See that? So it's not, it's not that runny. Because water will make the paint really see through. So I'm going to get it on. Just hold this so the base is on the, on, is on the table. And then just get that and then just put the lightest of marks on. And I'm holding that still as well, but I'm not pressing hard. And I'm just going to do that really light and just bring that down. Now, if you have trouble doing this, that's okay. I'm going to show you a different way as well. So now that red, all of that's dripping on the skull, you see, and it's coming down. Oh, look at that. So it's all, all, it's all dripping down. And some of it might even go wherever you want, but some of it might go into the eye there. A little bit of red into there, It'll come down there. That's really spooky, that. If you have trouble doing that, don't worry. There's a, there's a different way. So now if I make this, if I get the paint, but try that first. See how you see how see how it goes on. Have a go. But now, if you can't do it, that's fine. We're going to make this red really watery. Put loads of water in now, so now it, it will run when it's ready. And I think you know what I'm going to do. So I'll just put loads, loads of water in the red paint. So that's starting to run now, you see that? That's starting to run. So. Just tap that on the end there. Get some more of it. And then just, then just keep tapping. And keep tapping. And try not to rush it. Keep tapping and it'll start to run down. There it goes. Add the paint again. So you can get droplets of red on there. So I'm going to leave it on the table because it's standing up on its own now. Then just drop that paint on to where the droplets have gone. And that gives you a, like a dashed line like that one there. Okay. But if you want to paint it on, of course you can, it's yours. So I'll give you splashes of red on there. So now, as well, I could get the red, put some red on the bottom there, on the, on the back. Just take your time. Take that down the back, wherever you like. There we are. Now, on mine, that I did earlier, I put a little bit of red on the bottom there. I think I'll, I'll do that again. It's really easy. Use the paint that's not runny. That's a, that's a little bit thicker. And then pick this up on the skull because it's dry now. And then choose, ah, there we are. There's the driplet of red there that goes down there. And then you can choose to just take it straight off. See, I'm pressing heavier with the brush. So the brush sprays out more. So it spreads out there. Yeah. I think I'll do the little bit on the edge there as well. Curve it round, don't leave it sharp because the blood, the red, would curve round, you see. And then do whatever you want to that blood there. What's next then? So get your paint on your brush. Make sure the red's dry and then draw your lines almost like a fan. So you're drawing them out like that. Okay. Make sure you haven't got lots of paint on your brush. So I'm doing loads of them. So this paint hasn't got loads of water in the paint. It's, it, it's got a tiny bit in, but not lots. See that? So it looks like it fans out. There we are. And the next one you're gonna do is the little bits 
in between that make it look like a web. Do that, sweeps over like that. See that? Sweeps over like that. If your red's still wet and you've done this, don't, don't worry about it because the, the red might catch the web as well. So it's not a mistake, it's just different. And do the next one. So you work it up, almost like little ladders going up. But at the end of the day, it'll look like a spider's web. And of course, I think if we have a spider's web, I think we need a spider as well. So a spider is going to hang down from its web. Nice line straight down there. So how big is your spider? Big fat body and a little head. And the legs? The legs just going straight off. So there's one, two, three, four on one side, of course. There's a spider on there, like I've got on there. So there's two different types of spider. The legs going down, the legs going up and out. It's totally up to you. So what have I forgot? What's next? What have I forgotten? Can you remember? Oh, the vine. Let's put the vine on. So what you've got to do is dry off your brush. Make sure it's really dry. It can be a little bit damp, it's fine. Then we're going to use the red or the silver. So first of all, pick up your vine and just make sure it's tilted on both sides. That's one done. Then we'll do the other. Just bending it over. That's it. So the vine goes straight and then it's got a little bend on the very ends. So, so we're going to pick up the brush. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's no glue. So we're going to get some paint. When this dries, it dries hard and it locks the vine in place. So it's a little bit tricky, this. The only tricky part of this is putting the first skull on and these, and these two. That's all. The rest of it's fun. It's all, it's all fun. Just these are a little bit tricky. So if you don't want to put them on, that's absolutely fine or you can go a bit of tape or anything, any, anything to help you. I'm going to use a little bit of paint. Got a little bit of paint on there. Put your brush down, and then get one of the vines, then just put it in the paint. Use the plastic end of your brush, squeeze it into the paint, and a little bit more paint on top. And that'll lock it in. So when that's dry, you can you can let that dry it if you want, or you can leave it hanging. That, that looks like okay hanging, actually. But I think we'll tie it down, because I have it on this one. So now I'm going to use, because there's no red there, I'm going to use the silver. So I'll wash out the brush. Get all the, all the water off, so it's just slightly damp. Get the silver on your brush. And the silver, by now, would start to dry out a bit, so it's a little bit more sticky. Um, where can I put this? I think I'll put that, yeah, I'll put it there. Put it there. So we'll put that into there. Then hold it with your thumb, or get someone else to help you and hold it. Get the plastic end, and just gently squeeze that into there. Use more paint, it might pop out again, or it might not. So that's that vine there. So the next bit, I think I'll put on that side underneath his chin there. So I'm going to put loads of silver underneath there. Pick this up. A little bit tricky to pick up. Where's the bend? There it is. Put that into there. Press that in, that's better. I didn't press it in hard enough. A little bit more silver on top of that or red, whatever you want. You can leave it hanging, or you can make it stick again underneath there. I think I'll make mine stick again because I have a, because I have 
on there. Same again, silver or black. I'll try some silver. Stick it on. See, sticks. Press it on with a plastic end again. You just do the same thing over and over again, but you must, as all of them, paint on top again. Then the acrylic, it locks it in place. And there we are. So, if you want to turn the lights out, turn them on, and that looks great. And the shine on them skulls is fantastic. There we are. So from me, thank you, and of course, have a great Halloween.